and a computerized teacher would be less in tune with what uh, students need just to take it from the top so a very important aspect of teaching is the ability of the teacher to shape their teaching style to the needs of their students as an example if students are given a class sorry student if students in any given class are having trouble understanding a classroom topic the teacher can rephrase the topic and deliver it in a more effective way a computerized teacher would be less in tune with what the students need Okay, with what we're going to change this to what the students require, and thus would be incapable of doing this. Okay, so in these three sentences, now we've given an example, and then we've turned it to the other side and just shown how uh, technology would not be able to match a teacher in this example. So in the last sentence then we want to link this whole paragraph to our thesis and so it's basically we're just saying how um, how technology is not going to take the place of a teacher. We kind of want to say that it's we want to say that it's obvious from this example and from this paragraph that uh, that this is not going to happen. So we'd use a word like thus Thus, technology will not uh, replace teachers. Okay. Okay, now, so coming to supporting paragraph 2, and in supporting paragraph 2, our topic was motivation. Okay, so we want to say at the beginning something along the lines of, uh, so motivation... Uh, sorry, motivation and discipline are key to uh, a student's academic success in the classroom. Motivation and discipline are key to a student's academic success in the classroom. Now, just to reiterate, so this, this topic in supporting paragraph 2, this links way back up to in our introduction paragraph. See at the end here we have our outline sentence. And the second part of our outline sentence gives us the second supporting paragraph topic. Okay, so now back down again. Okay, so we want to come up with an example, a discussion, and a conclusion as well for this. So we might say something like, uh, an example, uh, sorry, let's change this to this, is very apparent, apparent, excuse me if I spelled that wrong, I'll check it later, this is very apparent uh, when teaching children. as children require more motivation and discipline to be uh, taught effectively. Let's just review that. I might have, we might want to 
rephrase it. Motivation and discipline are key to a student's academic success in the classroom. This is very apparent when teaching children, as children require more motivation and discipline require more motivation and discipline to be taught effectively. Okay, to be taught effectively. Okay, and so now we're coming up with our uh, discussion sentence, which once again is just going to point out that that technology cannot do this. So we might say something like a technology based teacher simply cannot um, accomplish this. Maybe we'll even stick in here as certain situations require judgment as to whether a student is acting in an inappropriate manner. Technology-based teachers simply cannot accomplish this as certain situations require judgment as to whether a student is acting in an inappropriate manner. So we're basically just saying now, especially once again, that if we're teaching children that uh, that if the, if the kids are not paying attention or they're acting up in class, well, uh, kids do that. So a human teacher would be able to deal with this situation and help guide the kids you know and then help them to uh, pay attention again but uh, a technology based teacher would not be able to do this so we're arguing that this would make the entire technology based classroom ineffective okay now our last sentence once again so we want to link our thesis to this supporting paragraph so to do that um, we would write a, a linking phrase. Now before we used thus, I think you can still see it in the screen here, up here, thus. So we might say something like after analyzing this, it is clear that a teacher's will always be needed in the classroom. Okay, and just to take it from the top again, so motivation and discipline are key to a student's academic success in the classroom. This is very apparent when teaching children, as children require more motivation and discipline to be taught effectively. A technology-based teacher simply cannot accomplish this as certain situations require judgment as to whether a student is acting in an inappropriate manner. After analyzing this, it is clear that teachers will always be needed in the classroom. So that's our supporting paragraph two. Now when we come down to our concluding paragraph, so, uh, oh, Concluding, concluding. So basically, the concluding paragraph just has these three sections, and in my opinion.